Oakleys, it's your girl Angel Summer X, and welcome back to part five of the Angel Save Files. Today I'm building a home on the Bargain Ben lot, and I've called it the new Bargain Ben. <laughs> Today I'm using objects from the Get Together and City Living packs, and again, this was another very interesting combination that um kind of coincided pretty well with each other. I will say uh, the exterior is looking brand new, but the interior is looking a little bit run down. But that's okay because, you know, not every home is perfect. There are some homes where it's like the outside is, you know, the outside might be one way, but then the inside is like, oh my god, what the hell? But it's not, you know, it's not totally, not totally crazy. This is a two bedroom, one bath family home. And for once I was actually able to follow the actual blueprint layout. Again, if you're you know new to my channel, if you're new to my speed builds, uh, I always talk about, I follow, uh, I always follow layouts that I find from homes on Pinterest. But of course you can also Google some homes for inspiration as well. But like I said, I like to use Pinterest just because I can create a board for the project and I can, you know, locate homes that I like that I want to use to build within the project and I can like save them and keep track of them within the board. And now Pinterest has a tool where you can actually organize the board so that you can sort of create like folders within the board itself. So, you know, I've created a board where I, you know, it's called, you know, the Angel Save File Project or Angel Save Project. And I basically separate the homes into different folders for the different worlds. So like right now I only have Willow Creek and Oasis Springs, which I'm really excited to be moving on to Oasis Springs once Willow Creek is done because then it will be like a different um, theme that we'll have going on in Oasis Springs, so I'm really excited about that. But I do feel like I made the living room a tad bit too small because of the narrow entry space and the way that I had it fixed. You guys can see it does look a little weird, so I do feel like I did kind of mess that part up a little bit. But I decided to leave it as it was because every home is different. Not every home has like a spacious entryway. This home also includes a separate entrance for the mudroom and slash utility area. So that could always double as a makeshift entry for your Sims. You know how most homes will have like a regular entryway and then there's like a mudroom where you can come in and like go through like it straight into the kitchen nowadays, that sort of thing. I did move in a family in here called the Adams family. No, not that Adams family, but they are a mixed family. So um, the husband is uh, husband and wife are both different ethnicities, and they do have a son together. So we have Clint, Arya, and their son Garrett. So they are the first small family in the neighborhood. We have one single sim living by themselves and a married couple who has yet to have kids of their own. And you guys might remember that video where I mentioned them. They are actually the couple that is living next door to the Adams. So I'm planning to leave the other two homes empty so you guys can fill them for yourselves. Maybe you might want to add another small family or a married couple or even a single sim of your choosing or maybe even roommates. You know, you have that ability as well to do so. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. In the next video, we'll be moving over to the other neighborhood and we'll actually be doing speed renovations instead of speed builds. So we'll be changing it up a little bit. And for that build, I'm going to be using objects from Snowy Escape and Realm of Magic. So that is definitely going to be very, very interesting. I think I'm gonna be using more objects from like Snowy Escape in terms of like the living and kitchen and 
bedrooms and stuff and just using maybe items from Realm of Magic in terms of decor. That's kind of my thought process on that, but I'll save that for the next video. Again, please don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so please be sure to tell a friend to tell a friend. You can follow me on all of my social media. That will be in the link tree link in the description down below. You just click that link, and it will take you to a listing of all of my social medias. And again, be sure to follow me. My main two are Instagram and Twitter, but I use Twitter the most for video updates, life updates. So if you really want to keep up with me, definitely follow me over on Twitter. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day wherever you may be, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye, guys.